So I have an Instagram network of over 600,000 followers. These pages can generate hundreds, if not thousands, depending on the month. Now, after some of my previous Instagram videos that I tell you how to grow your pages and gain thousands of followers, a common question that a lot of you guys are asking is, what is the most profitable Instagram niche? Now, instead of replying to you all separately, I thought I'd just make a general video. So hopefully we can help out everyone on the channel. So if you're thinking of starting your own Instagram theme page, so you can start building up your own little side income, then this is definitely the perfect place to start. Firstly, you need to see your Instagram account as a piece of digital property rather than just a social media account. Now I know this sounds strange but stay with me here. You see an Instagram account is actually worth money. There is a whole market of people that just flip Instagram accounts. That basically means that someone could buy an account for a hundred pounds and then basically what they do is grow the account, post a few posts and then sell the account with a higher follow account for like 500 pounds. Now that's a 400 pound profit and people do this all the time normally with multiple different Instagram accounts. Now the reason that this is important and you definitely want to know about this it could save you so so much time in the future and a lot of money basically let's say you have a 200,000 follower animal account and you have a 200,000 follower finance slash investing account you know they both have 200,000 followers so you know most people would think these accounts are worth the same amount of money now you couldn't be any more wrong with that judgment basically you could probably get around 2,000 pound for the animal account but with the finance slash investing account you could honestly sell that account for like 4,000 pounds to the right buyer now the reason for this is because if you've got a follower base in the financial niche you can sell stuff more easily and your followers are more likely to buy the products that you sell because they're already interested in making money so they're willing to invest in themselves to make more money by buying your products and it also generally means that people that are in the finance niche probably have more money themselves anyway because they're actually outgoing people you know they want to better themselves so they probably have a bit of money stashed up anyway now whereas an animal page these people are just here on Instagram to look at cute pictures of dogs Aww. they're not really likely to pull out their wallets and actually spend some of their cash on anything you promote. Now, I'm not saying that they won't buy your products, but I'm just saying the people that follow a finance account are more likely to buy the products than people from an animal account. So as you can see, the page that you actually decide to build and the niche that you choose is very, very important. So that's why I say I'm gonna break down the most profitable Instagram niches, the niches that I recommend any of you guys should start up. So hopefully you can run up that bag. All right, so the first profitable niche we're gonna talk about is the fitness niche. Now the fitness niche is massive. The market is valued at 96.7 billion. So it's safe to say there is a lot of money being poured into this niche which means that we can get some of that pot too if we want now you can monetize a fitness page in loads of different ways for example you can make money by actually shouting out influencers now if you think about it personal trainers and fitness influencers really do care about building a following on instagram because the more followers they have the more credible they actually look which means the more they can charge for their courses their supplements their programs and basically earn more money off their followers so this is where you come in with your fitness page you can offer them shout outs which will help them build their following and actually gain them followers that are already interested in the fitness niche, which means that when you give them a shout out, your followers are already interested in that type of content. So they're more likely to follow their content and they're actually more likely to buy the courses and supplements off them as well. So these fitness influencers will pay you a pretty penny to advertise on your page because you know, you're actually offering them targeted customers, which is very, very valuable. Let's say you have a hundred thousand followers. You could charge anywhere from like 50 to a hundred pound per share shout out now there's no shortage of fitness influencers you know there are loads and loads of fitness influencers on the platform so you could literally turn this into one of your main sources of income just shouting out people now something else that you could do is you could also sell protein products through affiliate marketing you know you don't actually have to make these protein products yourself you don't have to go into a factory and start testing out loads of things and making all the packaging you know what you can do instead of that is use affiliate marketing now I talk a lot about affiliate marketing on my channel a lot of my most successful businesses that I run are mainly built on affiliate marketing and I really am passionate about this subject. So if we was to do affiliate marketing in the fitness niche, you know, companies like MyProtein, which is a massive, massive fitness brand in England, offer an 8% commission when people buy protein through your link. So basically, if someone clicks on the link that you have in your bio, you'll actually earn 8%. So if someone buys like 50 pounds worth of protein, you get 8% of that, which might not sound like a lot, but you've got to remember it's a very trusted and reputable brand, which means that people are more likely to buy through them because they know it's a good product and it's a good service. And because your followers are already in the fitness, niche they actually do want protein you know protein is something that they have to buy every single month I can actually see this getting a lot of conversions and I think if you actually build a fitness page up and you know actually get to like the hundred thousand follower mark I reckon you can 
turn this into like a thousand pound a month sort of income stream but obviously you have to execute this correctly and you have to make sure your followers are very engaged followers now you could also offer meal prepping online coaching you could even build a brand and make an apparel company you know there's so much you could do in the fitness niche and that's why it's one of my favorite profitable niches that you can build on instagram next up is travel so it's no secret that the travel industry is worth a lot everyone loves traveling everyone loves going on holiday and everyone to do that has to buy holidays and also has to get their inspiration from somewhere so if you've watched a few of my other videos you'll know that i'm currently reviving an old instagram page in the travel niche and i have around 80,000 followers on this page now it's honestly very very easy to run this page and it's very easy to find viral content you know i got 1 million views on this reel the other day and honestly i literally looked for this content for about two minutes stuff like this just blows up all the time in the travel niche and it's really really easy to grow your following and not only that but you know i do actually enjoy looking at these destinations and stuff i enjoy traveling myself so this niche kind of works perfectly for me because i don't even feel like i'm doing any work when i'm looking for like content so i'm going to take you behind the scenes right now and show you a little sneak peek into one of my future videos so the main plan with this travel page was to revive it and then grow the following and then monetize it so the way i decided to do this was to implement an affiliate marketing strategy now, i promise you this isn't as complicated as it sounds basically what i did is i hopped onto Owen. Owen is like a affiliate marketplace search hub where you can find different companies that want to work with people like you people that own pages to promote their products I found things like on the beach jet2 and lastminute.com basically i became a partner with all these companies by just applying and showing my instagram page so basically i just find deals and hotels that people will want to stay at you know things that look nice but also are reasonably priced as well on the cheaper side and then all i have to do is search for some content in that area so let's say i find a nice hotel in italy on the amalfi coast basically i'd look for a nice tiktok in italy on the amalfi coast i'd post the tiktok on my page and then in the description i put stay in the amalfi coast for 199 for four nights or something silly like that you know because if that person's watched that reel and then they just scroll down and they see like an amazing deal on that place that they've just seen a reel on it's more likelihood that they will buy that holiday now some of these hotels are offering 30 percent commission which is insane let's say a hotel is like 500 pound per person and you know they book with like a group of four so it's around two thousand pounds you know if it's a 30 percent commission that would be 600 pound profit straight to us for literally just redirecting the customer to that page now, before you get too excited not every hotel will pay you this high of a commission some places only offer you like five or even ten percent but the thing about this is five or ten percent of a hotel of a holiday is really really good regardless you're still going to get paid a decent amount of cash if you implement this strategy i honestly think this is very scalable and this is why i'm actually doing it myself now the only hard part is actually growing the travel audience but once you've got it growing and once you become reliable and people trust you you can literally just promote holidays constantly because it's already in your niche so people aren't going to get annoyed that you're promoting these holidays because at the end of the day people enjoy looking at these nice hotels people enjoy looking at these cool destinations so that's my plan on how i'm going to do this as you can see i'm slowly building a website you know to try and look as professional as possible because i believe you know a customer that's going to spend a lot of money on a holiday doesn't want to buy off some dodgy sketchy website they want it to look professional so that's why i'm putting a bit of time into this so if you're interested to see where we take this travel page if we actually earn a lot of money and we, if we can monetize it successfully then definitely subscribe because there'll be a video coming out in the future about that now obviously you can also monetize this in the more conventional sense which basically means like instagram shout outs and there's also a lot of like travel influencers that want a shout out on your page you know they want to build up their brand their following so they can also do ad posts and promotions and stuff so by you giving them a shout out and them getting followers you know that'll help them earn more money so that's why they'll pay you for the shout outs all right so last up is finance now i'm pretty sure everyone could predict that finance will be the most profitable instagram niche so it's absolutely no surprise here you can earn up to five figures if you create a successful page in this niche however with that crazy upside there's also more competition which means it's a lot harder to grow but loads of finance pages on instagram I and mean, you just have a look at some of these ones here very easy to do like a lot of these people are just creating like the same sort of content and rebranding it for themselves and it's the same sort of design and this sort of style you can make on canva for free there's loads of free templates that you can do you can also batch make these and just schedule them out so the actual grunt work of this page is very very easy however while i do think that will work i think if you want to stand out and you actually you know want to make yourself grow a lot faster i would recommend in 2024 you need to be unique and find your own edge because while this is the most profitable niche and while you will earn like a lot of money in this niche if you become successful in it that means there's so much competition everyone makes a finance page and it's also the hardest one to get followers on the average person already follows a couple of finance pages so if they're going to follow another finance page that finance page needs to stand out you know what i mean that finance page needs to literally grab them in that's why you need to offer something 
something where the actual consumer thinks, oh my God, you know, I have to follow this page. Now that's easier said than done. I think if you used to do that, you need to analyze what's working. That currently there's a trend on TikTok, stoicism posts. I see a lot of these TikToks going viral. Well, it's basically just like stoicism quotes, which are very inspirational, very finance orientated. Basically just telling you how to live your life in a good way and be a good man and stuff. I see a lot of these posts taken off. So if you used to actually transform that and throw it over to Instagram, I could see that being your edge and I could see you if you actually did the stoicism post and made these reels but also included the normal finance post I could see you standing out enough for an average person to follow you now that's just one idea how you could stand out I'm sure if you actually brainstormed and you know actually spent a bit of time on this you, know, you could think of some better ideas but honestly if you actually do grow a page in this niche and you become successful it's so easy to monetize this you know you can post a link to countless financial self-help books or courses and you know, they'll normally give you a high conversion because these courses and these self-help books are normally digital products, which means that the actual seller of these products isn't paying to ship these out or anything. They're just transferring a link over to the consumer. So they'll give you like a 40, 50% commission on these things because you're bringing the traffic and you're actually bringing the customer to them. A little disclaimer, I wanna point out that you need to have at least some interest in the page that you're building. I honestly believe that the reason why most people fail at building an Instagram account is because they don't actually enjoy what they're posting. You know, if you actually enjoy what you're posting, then you're you're more likely to carry on posting it because you're going to view this content anyway so you might as well post about it anyways i hope this video has helped you out if you're interested in learning how to grow your own instagram theme page then definitely make sure to subscribe because i make videos like this all the time